If a pharmacist isn't there, it's an overpriced sweet shop, isn't it? Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here, inevitably again with the Smart 450. We are continuing our rebuild, our suspension rebuild. The front has been completed and the rear has been completed too. New exhaust on the back. We took it for a test drive and well, we noticed a little bit of a knocking from this near side front. Thankfully, it wasn't anything to do with the suspension that we'd been replacing. So it wasn't the spring, it wasn't the dampener, and it wasn't the top mount. No, it was the lower arm. Um, the bushes had gone in the lower arm at the front there. It's just, as you can see, an arm here with a bush here and a bush here. Um, we've also noticed that the uh, drop links, anti-roll bar links, have failed on the near side as well. The likelihood is that because we've corrected the suspension and because we've corrected the ride height, it's now putting strain on that arm and has put strain on that roll bar link and has caused it to fail. Um, in this video then, we're gonna have a chat with Dad and we're gonna fit two new anti-roll bar links, one to the off side and one to the near side and this lower control arm. We're also then gonna take it for a test drive and fingers crossed, should feel like a brand new car. Ah, good afternoon. Howdy doody. Uh, you've got the Deputy Inspector with oh, you today. <laughs> got a visitor. Everybody, I would like you to meet Penny. Uh, Penny is staying with me and Mrs John Keaton for a little while on a, a bit of an extended cool, holiday. Then. So uh, cool. she has come out into the garden Sit. to meet Grandad. She's and she's a good girl. She's uh, a lovely dog. Six years old, black lab. And she can do that. She, uh, <laughs> she's a clever girl. Can... Anyway, enough about party tricks from Penny, the <laughs> deputy girl. inspector. How about we get a new control arm and new anti-roll bar links on you this smart that. car? What do you reckon to that? That's a good idea. Big job? No, you can do the job. I'll entertain the dog. <laughs> hey, Why is it that all of a sudden these, this control arm bush has failed and the anti-roll bar links have failed. Is it? Is it? I bet we couldn't notice someone that was on its haunches. Right, okay. All the way, everything was wedged up. I think we've upset it, haven't we? So because we've done the front suspension, you well, it's reckon? Made it, it's made it more obvious. Right, it? fair enough. It's definitely upset it. Uh, just talk us quickly through the process. Take the wheels off. Wheels off, under tray off. Roll bar links are just two bolts, lower arm. One nut, two bolts, I hope. So we don't have to be touching the springs or the suspension no. or the hubs no, no. or anything like that. No. So in theory, a relatively easy DIY job for somebody. We'll soon find <laughs> we'll out. Soon find Let's out. find out. We don't know, do I we? I suppose the worst case scenario is everything's seized up, right? Have you replaced the um, roll bar links on this car before? No. Have you replaced any front control arms on this car before? No. There you go, so it's, uh, it's new for both of us. Let's take a look at these then. So these are Febby Bilsteins. They cost 13 pounds each. Um, Euro car parts were charging 20 pounds for, I suppose, I forgot what it's called, Starline or Comline or something like that. So proper Febby Bilstein ones, two for the price of a Euro car parts one, really. Would you recommend replacing these in pairs? There's no need to, really. But we're going to. Yeah, might as well. Might we? as well for the sake of 13 quid. And here is the control arm. Uh, it's been delivered today. This is a com line. It was cheap and cheerful. We could have replaced the bushes in the one that's on the car. That would have cost sort of £10 a bush and been a bit of a nuisance. This arm, however, you know, 30 quid. So, um, fingers crossed. It's not worth putting 10 quid worth of labour, is it? Exactly. So, fingers crossed that is the right thing and uh, these go on okay. First port of call then, off come the wheels. Got to do mending cars where you Yeah, we're, we're not sure that Penny has ever, uh, ever mended her vehicle before, so uh, she's gonna learn as well. She'll be right. So get the car jacked up, get the axle stands underneath, and then we can get the wheels off. Dual wheeled axles again. In go the axle stands, very important. Always make sure when you're working on your car, you've got your axle stands in. Off come the wheels. Mm -hmm. 
So it's time to take the under tray off. Somebody's taken all the fixings for the under tray out already. Lord only knows how that happened. <laughs> So that should come down now? It should just hang down if you're taking it from the front. What, like that? That's right mate, like that. But we ain't. We haven't got to that's bumper got to come off. off. That's got to come off. That's got to come off. And that's got to come off. Yep. So that's the control arm there. So there's two different sorts of bolts in there. Very straight, I see. There's a thing there. Anyway, we'll soon find out when we take some bolts off. Right, let's take a look at this control arm then. There's the anti-roll bar link in there. It's not overly corroded and there's some quite big sort of Torx bolts in there. They're massive, but the bushes are shot here and here. So a new one required. Have you found one of them Torx bolts? Yeah, we've got one big enough. We're all right. Things. Right, so how do we do this then? Let's do the easy bit first. Okay, what's the easy Disconnect bit? Cup of tea? We'll disconnect the roll bar link. Ah, so there it is, you've got a thin spanner in there. Now, has this one got one on? I can't see. Ah, this is different to the other side. So you've said that that's different to the other side. It is. In what way is it different? Because the, well, the new ones, I've got a spanner thing on them. So you can put a spanner on there to hold it. The other links have got a spanner thing there. What's the <laughs> issue we're facing? Well, if you look at your new link, yeah. it's got a spanner bit on there. Oh, right, on the end. Yeah, and that one hasn't got the rust off. Yep. So what have you got in there? So you've got it's some all pliers. Turning. It's all turning now, is it? No, you've held it now. It was all turning, wasn't it? So you say. It's very slowly coming off. Well, that took longer than we expected. Oh yeah, I will demonstrate something there. So this side's different? Yeah, it's got a spanner on there, look. Oh yeah. So do you reckon that had been removed? You see? Yep. Hold it with a spanner. So the near side that you've just struggled with, do you think someone had removed? I'm guessing it's probably had one fitted before. The spanner pick. Oh, oh right, I see. On. Unless the originals are like that. You yeah, maybe it could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Have a look. Ta-da! Out comes the old anti-roll bar link. Let's have a look at that. Is it any good? Well, it's not too bad actually, is it? Doesn't look too bad, that one. Ah, copper slip. They've got these nuts on with the end squished, look, so they're not round, so they stay tight. Yep. And there's the new one. Well, if anything, it looks better. Does it? There's something then. It looks better. So that bolts into the arm yeah. and then into a frame. Just checking right? them bushes. Yeah, they're all right. There's two bushes across here, look. Yep. And they're all right. So. On that control arm. So that control no, arm's that's fine. A roll bar. Oh, that roll bar's fine. Yeah. Well, the bushes fail, mate. It's a normal thing with them. So 
just two nuts on there. Actually, we've made that one look easy. One with a spanner and one with a camera. Two nuts. Make sure you get your anti-roll bar links tight because else they make a funny old noise. How do they go? Uh, 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 uh. Garage floor inspector. Yeah, a good girl. You That's the good thing about Black Labs. You can get them oily and it doesn't show. <laughs> a good girl. Eh? We well, made that one look easy, but now it's time to do the other side, which is going to be more difficult, I think, because we've got to take that control arm off. But uh, that's number one down, 10 minutes in. Right, now comes out the bar to crack them off. One. We set off early this morning to fetch the old black dog. We did. What like that? That's tight. It's not, it's not that. It's rocking the car. This might be. Might be a disappointment actually. There's some sort of linkage on there. What is that all about? It's the roll bar thing. That's the roll bar bush. Oh yeah. That's a big old socket you've got on there. Why are you having to use that one? Well, I could use a spanner, couldn't I? But uh, I'll just put a deep socket on it, 24 mil. So out comes that That's peg. That's been off before. It has. It's got all copper slip on it. And in theory, the control arm should now come out. I don't see why that. Oh, don't tell me that I've got a finger my jig on it. After. I didn't remember how that was. So you're talking about something being on a taper, just explain that to us. The ball joints on it, I didn't know it was on a taper. Um, you'll see when I take it to bits, won't you? What's the plan of attack? Well, I should have took it off first, shouldn't I? That bottom ball joint? Yeah. Should have took it off first, mate. We needed two hands for that job, so I didn't record it, but we had to get the ball joint splitter out uh, to get it off there. Uh, but the control arm is off the car. Now we can see the faulty bush, and actually, yeah, it's just knocking around in there. Look, it's got no... Oh, it is, isn't it? It's just uh, donk, 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 donk. But there's the new one. Oh, they are shot, aren't they? They are no good. Yeah. We well, we're not wasting our time there, are we? I'll add this to the pile of metal we've taken off the smart car this week. Out comes the new control arm. Let's have a look. Does it look uh, okay? Oh, if we had a press, we could have changed them bushes, John. Yep. <laughs> With a press. Mm. Impressed. With a press, we could have done the backers. The hydraulic press channel. The hydraulic press. Copper slip. Pistons. <laughs> so that's loosely hung on there. What's next? Tighten it all up. No. no, no. It's going to have to put it in its working position again. Right. I'll get it somewhere near. Send her up a bit, take the weight off, that's it. Whoa. You've done it again. Are you your way? Whoop. That's it, perfect, son. That's it. So lift her up until the weight's on the suspension. We know when that is because the blinking thing will lift the car off this axle stand a tad. Whoa, that'll do. So we've just jacked the bottom ball joint up there. Why have we done that? Same thing as doing any other rubber bush, mate. It wants to be in the position it's going to work at so it doesn't put excess strain on it. Well, yeah. Good, good to know. Top tip. So all the nuts and bolts have been tightened up 
but not talked up. You're about to talk everything up. Yep. So uh, what are we talking first? The big inner bolts, because I've got the weight on, look. Yep, 120 Newton meters on those, plus or minus 12. <laughs> One twenty. That's that one. Take the spanner off. So now we've got them talked up, it's time to do the bottom ball joint. What are you calling it? The Valentino Rossi? Why are you calling it the Valentino Rossi? The torque setting is 46. Ah. <laughs> That's the number, isn't it? Now to put this bracket back on. Ah, but she is very very putty. She likes human company. She's a good gal. And yeah, she's a sort of dog that would sit with you for hours, wouldn't she? You got a new workshop dog. On goes the end. What we need. Anti roll bar link. So, why have you put some pincers on there? Well, it, I just wanted to, I just, Edda put it, just wanted to move it with my hand. Yep. Uh, it's not, it's just so I could line it up, really. That's all I needed to do was ratchet set to tighten up. She's a funny. You're egg. funny. Oh, I you're do lay down. funny. I do lay down. And yeah. So that's everything fitted, everything tight. You're just making sure that it's tight. How did that go? Just, just for peace of mind, I'm just going around and making sure we ain't doing that stupid in between fussing dogs and making films. That done. Hi. You made that look relatively easy. Give us a hand with this, Gromit. Under tray going back on. Under tray is on. On goes the uh, second wheel. What do you want to have a rant about today? Today? My rant today is... Are you, are you actually having a rant? Yeah. Oh, right, here we go then. Two minutes past... That's the wrong tool, Gromit. Two minutes past nine, the lady opened the pharmacy door. I went to pick your mum's medicines up. As is usual, the pharmacist's not here. No. What is the most important person <laughs> at a pharmacy? <laughs> well, it's not the lady who fetches the stuff, is it? No. It's, it's the, the pharmacist. pharmacist. What time was the pharmacist getting there? I don't know, but I've offered to buy him an alarm clock when I went back later <laughs> on in the morning. <laughs> she knew what I meant. A pharmacy needs the pharmacist. Yeah. It can't function as a pharmacy without the pharmacist. I understand. That's very similar to my dentist that I went to recently. Has he not got a dent? Well, I went to the dentist. My appointment was quarter to nine. So I arrived at quarter to nine and I saw the secretaries and I got booked in and got sat down. And at 10 past nine, the dentist pulled up in his car. Yeah. And I said, oh, I thought my appointment was quarter to nine. And he said, I don't start until nine. So why are they booking appointments for quarter to nine if the dentist doesn't get there until Getting you nine? you stacked up ready. Oh dear. So they're already 15, well, 25 minutes late. I anyway. just cannot grasp the fact that the most important person in a pharmacy needs to be there before it opens, not after it opens. Some days I've been at about half past nine and he's not there yet. I think I need to change my profession to pharmacist. Just turn up when you want. I suppose it's his franchise, isn't it? So he can do what the heck he likes. Yeah, really. don't blame him. That's it. what he thinks. I'm going to bring him an alarm. But if he's not, if a pharmacist isn't there, it's an overpriced sweet shop, isn't it? 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, it's the only place you buy sweets when you're very, very drunk or poorly. <laughs> Is that your rant of the day? Yeah. Pharmacists, take note. Yeah. Turn up on time. Yeah, get to work when it opens. You lazy the, pharmacists. They can't, they can't give you your prescriptions, you see, if the pharmacist isn't there. No. I don't right, know good. why, because he doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the wheels are back on the car now to put the car on the deck. Talk the wheels up. Jobs are good in. It's made sense to change well, yeah, that whole arm, hasn't it? Yeah, but you could change the bushes for £10 less. But what's the point? No, it's not worth going and buying a press, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> could you have done that job with the under tray on? No. No. So you can't get the front bolt out. So it has to come off yeah. or drop down. Yeah, you could, get, you could do everything apart from that front bolt without the under tray off. Unless you wanted to chop a part off the under tray. Yeah. But that's... That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. It's not a good look, is it? No, for the sake of a few screws. Cool. That's got is to be... Is there anything else left to change? <laughs> what have we not changed on the front there now? We've even changed the horn. Yeah. In the past, we've changed the front hub bearings. We've changed all the ball joints on the front. We've not changed the roll bar. No, we've not changed the brake hoses. We've not changed the brake calipers. We've not changed the hub itself. But apart from that, so everything's suspension now on this car, we have changed. Well, not everything, but nearly everything. Well, all the shock absorbers. Yeah. All the springs. Yep. And all the anti-roll bar links. Yep. Then we've changed the track control arms at the back. Yep. In theory, this should drive like a new car now. So all there is now is the big bush in the middle of the rear arm, which I still think looks all right. Yep. And the offside front lower arm. Shall we get it on the deck and take it for a spin? Yeah, shall we have a drink first? Tea up. Tea up, yeah. Right, jacks are out. The wheels are being torqued. Last time we went to torque this wheel up. What, just tell us what it did. Well, it moved backwards a bit. It did, that was due to that knackered bush, right? Yeah. So, in theory, it's already proved that we've done a good job there. We are certainly not wasting our time. I think we've sort of upset it by jacking it up in the air like we have done. Oh, really? I'll be honest with you, I feel it's that sort of set everything off. If you've been following our journey on the car, you know that a lot of people said, oh, it sits really low at the front. And actually, I really struggled to get my fingers between here and the wheel arch. Now I can get my whole foot on the front, my whole foot on the back. All those people that said it sits low, and I said, no, it's just how it is. You were right. It's almost too high now. You're never bloody satisfied. <laughs> We've had a cup of tea. Shall we take it for a test drive? So, new exhaust, new rear shock absorbers, new rear springs, new front control arm, new anti-roll bar links. The car should drive totally different with new everything. New front shockies, new front springs. Dad's gonna drive. And I'm going to take you along for the ride. Have you ever driven this before? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Right, let me get in. Hang on a minute. Whoa. Oh, crikey. That sits high. Oh, what's that beeping at me for? Let me get my seat belt on. Right, we're on the open road. There's the snail van. Let's go for a spin. Already it's quieter in the cabin. Seems to ride better. Oh, was that the ABS kicking in? I don't know what it was. It, it sort of skipped. Well, there's no knocks, no rattles, no bangs, which is good. What's it like to drive? Well, different to what it always used to be like. Don't jar my fillings out there. 
Oh, you're taking it down the bumpy old back roads. I'm going to title this video, Man Drives Smart Car and Doesn't Knock Fillings Out. <laughs> Joking apart though, it does feel totally different, this car now. It does, doesn't it? No major knocks, no major bangs. It's windy because the window's open because it's warm in here. The engine sounds good. The exhaust sounds good. It's not loud in the cabin. For the sake of the 400 quid that we've spent on it, it's a totally different car, right? Oh, yeah. It is. It was a bit horrible down here. Oh, this really is about windy old back road. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lincolnshire traffic jam. Yep. We're going to pull up here, and these folks are going to come past me. Right, the Lincolnshire traffic jam has gone. See that there? That is a byway. Well, is it now? It's actually a road, that is. Well, let's not go down no, there. No, no, no. Let's go down this one. That's where your uh, chicken hook came from somewhere. Oh, now I know where I am, yes. Now I know where I am. So these are, as you can see, horrible old Lincolnshire pothole-filled, naff, horrible old roads. And it's driving nicely. No major knocks, no major bangs. Don't break my suspension in the first video, though. <laughs> this would have been horrible, wouldn't it? It would have been... I should have got out and walked, I it think. Would, <laughs> it would have been absolutely <coughs> vile. I should have got out and walked. Absolutely amazing transformation, isn't it? <laughs> It's only taken seven years. That's what you need what you for need Lincolnshire's back roads. live round here. <laughs> None of these smart cars. Are you happy with the car? I'm amazed. That's good testimony. That's testimony enough for me. It would have been horrible down that old back road field lane there. Rattly, knocky, oh, bangy, donk, donk, donk. Her head would be hurting. No, that's made me a happy bunny. We've not wasted our time. We certainly haven't. Or money. Because it's not been anything really earth shattering we've done, is it? Just change a few bits. <laughs> yeah? Hey, you've got it a bit mucky down that back road, mate. It's like you did to that Rover 75 after I'd spent years working on it. How's that then? Oh, it's like a smart car. Honestly though, better? <laughs> it's, it's unbelievably better, isn't it? Good, I'm Absolutely happy. Absolutely unbelievably better. Thanks for that. It's like a different blinking car. You've mentioned you're gonna do something with the tracking. What's the plan? I'm just gonna give it a sort of a, a primitive attempt just to see what the tracking's like. Sort of like we did before, some blocks and, and some planks of wood. Just planks to see of wood. If okay. there's anything really stupid wrong with it, then you can have it tracked up when you have the tyres fitted. Also arrived today, by the way, for the 451 is this, uh, which is sort of a storage cubby ashtray as per the centre of the 450. So uh, £10, that cost me, they're about 40 quid second hand, so that was a good bargain. Well, there you have it then, job done. It took us about an hour and a half in between filming and cups of tea as well. Two new anti-roll bar links and the front control arm fitted. It's a shame we had to take that under tray off, which caused us uh, more unnecessary removal of stuff. However, thankfully, didn't need to take the front bumper off this time round. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please if you could. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, and let me know in the comments below, what do you reckon? Are we just throwing good money after bad with the purple smart? Or is that it? Is that all we're going to have to replace now? <laughs> Touch wood. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching.
goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.